boys and girls. Uh, we are going to do our greeting circle now. And I'm going to read a book called Bear Wants More. And it is by Karma Wilson. And it is, a, it is illustrated by Jane Chapman. Remember the author is who writes the words and the illustrator is who draws the pictures. And remember, this is the front of the book, the front cover. This is the back of the book called the back cover. And this is the spine of the book that keeps the pages in the book. All right, I will begin. Bear wants more. When springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone, but the bear wants more. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail. Come along, Mouse squeaks, to Strawberry Vale. So up Mouse hops onto Bear's big back. They tramp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. The berries grow sweet and they eat, 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 but the bear wants more. The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars bear. Hare says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, 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 but the bear wants more. Badger shuffles by with his new fret with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishy hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish, but he still wants more. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den. Wait, gopher and mole with raven and wren. They bake honey cakes, they decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend bear. Bear rubs his tummy, he smells something yummy, and he still wants more. Bear sniffs and he snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home, he follows his nose. His friends yell, surprise, when he gets to his den. But Bear is so big that he can't fit in. Bear wails, what luck I am, stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door. Mouse squeaks, poor bear, he is wedged too tight. Hare tugs, raven pushes with all their might. Badger gets stuck and he, he, he pries so hard that bear pops out and he lands in his yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside and he still wants more. Bear opens presents, he gobbles honey cakes. He eats so much that his big tummy aches. He snuggles in the grass and he snores big snores. He is full, 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 but his friends want more. The end. All right, now we're going to, um, I'm going to sing you the Itsy Bitsy Spider. All right, here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. 
out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, so we're talking about springtime. And so I am going to go over our message of the day. And it's called, and it says, playing in the spring sunshine is fun. So I will underline the words. So playing in the spring sunshine is fun. All right. What so what do you like to do in the sunshine, boys and girls? Uh, we would love to have answers. Um, you can write them down if you, your mom and dad can type them out for you. Um, or just tell your parents what you like to do in the sunshine outside. Um, do you like, uh, if you were um, a bear with, or an animal, what would you like to do with bear out in the sunshine? And, all right, so we are going to look at the letter S. And this is the letter S, and S is the first letter in spring and in sunshine. And um, so we practice our S, and we go start at the top and big curve around, and then another big curve around. All right, and then that is uppercase S, and then lowercase S, you start in the middle, and you go little curve around, and little curve around again. All right, now we're going to do our breathing exercises, our calming strategies, and remember, we, uh, we do our breathing exercises to help us calm down and we can teach that to parents, we can teach it to our friends, we can um, teach it to brothers and sisters, um, and it just helps us calm down. And you can do it when you're happy, or when you're sad, or when you're mad, or when you're scared. And so I'm going to teach you the balloon. We're going to do the balloon exercise. So we go, you take your arms up and you go breathe in. And then two more times. Breathe in. One more time. Now I'm feeling relaxed. All right. Now we're going to do our bear hunt song. Nope. All right. Oh, skin rink. Now we're going to do skid and rink. Sorry. All right. So we're going to do skid and rink a dink a dink, skid and rink a do. I love you. Skid and rink a dink a dink, skid and rink a do. I love you. <laughs> I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skid a marink a dink a dink, skid a marink a do. I love you. 